If you've just joined us, then welcome to the madhouse. I've had a can of pop. So we need to go. Do we go to the space desk later? We've spent the last few months driving our green Mercedes Vario the length of Norway. Oh, I hope I don't spew my sandwich back up. Go, 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 go. Am I there yet? Feel the energy. We've been lucky enough to see it in the winter. And now we're going to see it in the spring. Back on the road. Go on, Norway. We're at the flipping beach. In the last five days, we've driven over a thousand miles from Lofoten all the way to Bergen. You're having a good time there. And in two days, we've got a boat to catch. <sighs> Boats in it bring on that anxiety. First things first. This week, we are due to board an overnight ferry from Norway to Germany. All aboard. This boat's sick, lads. I'm I'm coming. No more gambling, it's too early. Unless you win. But as per every King in It series, something was bound to go wrong. So it's not drivable. Recovery truck has arrived. If you're going to take anything away from this, do not break down in Norway. All right, lads, we've made it to Bergen, one of Norway's most picturesque cities. The main reason we came here is to see my uncle. I don't know if I've mentioned that already, but he owns a vegan fast food restaurant called Dirty Vegan. So if you're in Bergen or if you're in Oslo, because they've got a shop there as well, you need to go. Just drop the kids off a footy of you. I'm fully aware that this is a very over the top outfit, but I don't care. You look like a Florida bingo goer. <laughs> <laughs> I do. So hungry, you can't wait for a good meal. Everything you want in a burger. Double Beyond Meat patty, lettuce, pickles, called dirty sauce as well. Juicy, saucy, tasty. Next level. I haven't had a Big Mac for eight years, probably. Pickles and burgers. Ugh. We're not shaving, are we? Even if you're not vegan, you have to try it here. I knew I'd do it. That's a damn shame. It's too good to waste. They're walking way too fast for me. I just had a burger and a half. David's like, yeah, I'm the fastest walker in Norway. And I'm like, I'm kind of not. You just slow it down. Be really great. But uh, I'm really looking forward to Bergen's finest attraction. Uh, it's number one player. Going up on a cable car to the top of something. David's like, we can walk in 40. And I was like, I had a slight tear come down. And I think he knew we're going to get the cable car. Why is everyone running? I've got a stitch. Are we gonna miss her? Oh, I think we missed it. Bye. Sorry, that was me. I had two burgers. Like, how yeah. do you expect me to run for that? <laughs> of course, we had the best seat. Had to fight a toddler for it, but uh, came out victorious. Wow, this place is amazing. We just hide the burger stain on my leggings. Just throw some burger then, babe really really pretty such a beautiful little spot and it is quite little you can just walk around and you know within five minutes you're in a different area and it's very unique it's got its own style of houses and like misshaped things i think it's definitely a spot to put on just for the food alone short and sweet in and out of bergen going back to custer now hoping that we don't have a ticket because i don't think we were supposed to be parking here. But well, there's no clamp, so that's a good sign. Any tickets? No, we're okay. Free parking in the centre of Bergen. I tell you how we did it, but I don't need to get a ticket. <laughs> we were lucky. I would recommend Bergen. Bloody brilliant. Nice city. Just a friendly bird. We thought the day was going to stop here. We thought we were just going to see Bergen and not do any driving. We've got places to be, mate. Felt wrong. Don't ever, ever doubt us. Bingo! <laughs> Where's my felted pen, Craig? Where's my felted pen? What's the plan, husband homes? We gotta get about seven boats, so we need to go. All right then. We've had a couple of sweets, we're getting a little bit wild over here. I've had a can of pop and I'm buzzing. In about 10 minutes, we're gonna crash. We're gonna be like, should we not get the boat? Uh, just for your information, it's five past eight in the evening. Obviously, it doesn't look like it. So I think this is what gives us energy in the evening. You're still talking, Craig. So how long is this boat? Uh, it's 50 minutes. How much did it cost? 476. 476? Oh, it's a lot, Craig. A lot of people said to like, drive through Sweden because it's way cheaper, and this is why. Like We're driving back through Norway now. Coming up on 300 pounds already. But you have to. It's like a free cruise every hour, and it like breaks up the driving as well. Yeah. Because you look at the driving, and you're like, ah, oh, it's like three hours, but this is a 50 minute boat, so. Just do a paper round before you come. We're always behind a washing machine. Me and Barney are about to show you around. You look like a human eggplant. This is the warmest suit I've got and it is still quite cold out there, you know. Can you help me? No, but at least you'll float if you fall off the boat. I'm not going to feel an inch of 
wind. Stop judging here, everyone watching. Look at you looking at her up and down. <laughs> Shame on me. Okay. Look at this. This is amazing. Gosh, why did they push this? It bugged. Come on, Nan, back to the bus. Legs 11, number 11. What's your favourite song? I said anything by Michael Bolton or Paul Potts. So he's put on my favourite Paul Potts song and he was like, I would absolutely love it if you would come out and sing it to me at our wedding. <laughs> I don't know it, I don't know the lyrics. Oh, shame, shame, shame. Well, a long way to go if you are my hand in marriage. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Sometimes we forget to take the coffee machine down and she makes her way slowly off the counter. <laughs> that could have been a disaster if we left it any longer. All right, lads, uh, it's half past nine. It's definitely time for bed. I think the vegan burgers actually filled us up. There is leftover spaghetti bolognese if Craig wants it. He's just out on a wander right now. We're just parked 13 minutes away from the last ferry port, about a 15 second drive to the next one. So we'll wake up hop on a ferry and uh, make our way even closer to Christian Sands where we're getting the big ferry out of Norway. Sometimes it's just a bit difficult when you've got too many choices. We've gone for Alison today, little ginger number. 2,563. Oh, Honestly, for today. that pull-up bar was such a waste of time and money and effort. No it wasn't, look at that. Gymshark if you're watching, I need a sponsor. Sun's out, guns out in the trev. Show us your guns, go on. I showed you with my guns last week. Where have you been hiding them? Ugh. They haven't actually grown since then. Oh, that's a shame. You ready? First boat of the day. Made it by the skin of our teeth. We were the last ones on. Lovely day for it. Always behind the washing machine. You buzzing that we found I am a surf buzzing. spot. Amy's like, you need to film. I'm like, no, I need to surf. Sorry, vlog. Sometimes I gotta live my life first. That's all right. No, it isn't. On Bye, behalf Alicia. of everybody, you're 300,000 subscribers. Or you could be a cameraman for the day and film my life. How about that? I'm busy editing little bums and stuff. No, I don't mind being cameraman for today. As long as he enjoys himself, be a bit of peace and quiet, to be honest. Bike Jones, it's your lucky day. I'll give him a clean first, though. Sorry guys, I can't see if it's in focus. I can't see at all. You're fired. They're actually the most annoying things on this planet. Oh dear. Don't look at that bit. Well, that bit. Is everything falling apart? Yeah. yeah everything's falling apart. Come on! I haven't. The beach, please, drive. Yeah, see a beach there. Look at that, I missed by Jones. Oh, look at this. What a day for it. Crystal clear. Some fun little waves. I'm a little bit rusty, so that's probably good. Go on, Norway. Show these boys how to do it. Well, uh, this is a far cry from the Norway we know and love. It really is such a beautiful day for it. We're at the flipping beach. I mean, I knew Norway had beaches, but this is just gorgeous. It's huge. Apparently, according to Visit Norway, this is the best beach in Norway to surf at. So Craig is buzzing. We got our bathers on, we got a blueberry muffin, we've got a book, we've got some coffee, and we are living out here today. He's out there somewhere. It's not, no. Is yeah. that something that you could do maybe? Uh, how big is the car? She's a big girl. Uh, we will try the problem. So last night we parked up at this really beautiful spot. Life was good, the sun was out. Honestly, I was thinking to myself the other day, Custard is such a babe. We never have any problems with her really, unless it was our fault and Craig forgot to put petrol in. 
Your tank sounds empty. Craig Holmes. We all make mistakes, don't we? <laughs> if things go wrong, it's, it's going to be because of me and Craig, not because of Custard, because she's an absolute doll. And then this happens, and now we're broken down. Not because of the engine or anything, like she is sound as a pound. Same thing that happened in Scotland. One of our air suspension things has gone. Apparently there's like a crack in the pipe or something. I have no idea. To be honest, I don't think Craig really knows either. He can just see it. Usually if you've got a car and stuff, you know, he can ring Gary from Barry, which we have. Where's the boss? Hiya. <laughs> Hiya, sweetheart. When it comes to air suspensions and bus stuff, not a clue, mate. So um, we've got a tow coming. <laughs> he was like, let me just figure out the price. I'll send you over a link. I was like, okay, um, understand we're in Norway and stuff. It's probably going to be quite expensive. Nearly 650 quid. I've told Craig, we both need to get a paper round when we get home. If you're going to take anything away from this little spiel, do not break down in Norway. Recovery truck has arrived. I think it's about half past eight now. I think we initially called them around two. So it has been quite a while, but your man's been trying to go to like different shops on the way down to pick up what he thinks we need because fingers crossed he's going to try and repair it here but i'm not sure if that will happen or not everybody pray what's the score if you can cut it and re-thread it you might be able to just fix it here cut and re-thread what the pipe that's split was that a maybe you can fix it maybe oh <gasps> good man <laughs> turn around see if it works this needs to come off these are going up which is good he's only going yeah! down it. <laughs> No problem, I will just go underneath and check if everything is okay. We're 700 quid. Well, we get a pass for refund. You on the floor just taking the bus on a little test drive and he's running alongside it what a beautiful human got a good feeling that he's fixed it i could have done it i just needed an angle grinder see you later thank you oh aspen your wee champion But I'm excited to see this boat. The last one I went on overnight was in Morocco and I was on my own. This is home for the next two nights. The boat's called the Romantica. I booked this one on purpose, babe, just for you. It ain't gonna be too romantic, Craig. A romantic spew on my knee. <laughs> Happy birthday, babe. How are you oh, doing? Thanks. I forget it's my birthday. Oh just I've got no energy. Just left it all in the toilet this morning. Boats in it. Just bring on that anxiety. You just gotta think of it, we booked a lovely room with some lovely views and then you just get to have a nice sleep without a leaking roof on your head. It moves though. Yeah, it's nice, it rocks you to sleep. <sighs> you will be fine babes, they'll be absolutely fine. You've been on 20 boats this week. Yeah, but they've been like 20 minutes. This one's 18 hours. I've never been on a boat overnight you... in my life. I didn't want to leave you and I didn't really want to fly on my own. I'm not even joking you, I've missed the flight. Some traveller I am. Oh gosh, heavy heart though, proper. It's a big boat, it's really big. We've never been on that before. So like in a weird, weird way, I'm also quite excited. Our friend Gareth at home, he always puts up these lovely statuses about how you should rethink things he was like if you're on a bad day of anxiety or you've got something coming up and you're just not looking forward to it try and think of it going right you know um, imagine having a great time and i do but my body's like no 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 you're lying we're gonna die oh, i don't know why i just didn't sleep well last night this made me really emotional i just need a nap i think a nap and a sandwich babes and be grand we haven't had a problem with custard for so long and for it to happen the day before we needed to get on the boat was just like typical. I'm just stoked that Espen was able to fix it and we could just drive here. But I think he's done a good job because the pressure stayed up but the last thing we wanted to do was get stuck this end. If we break down again we'll be in Custard's home country of Germany so the parts will be cheaper and so will the labour. <laughs> Oh well, we're on it now lads. Can't really get off till 18 hours time. Please pray, pray hard. There's a space disco mate. <laughs> oh, I can't breathe. Oh wow. Oh cool, look at this. Great room babes. How'd you feel? I don't know, Craig. You got this babes. <gasps> I'm proud of you babes, because I know this is a lot, but you're doing it. You're on the boat. So this boat, it was a little bit more because we got the luxury cabin. It was like 550 odd quid. But it goes from Christian Sands all the way to Cuxhaven in Germany. So it cuts out either getting a boat from Norway to Denmark and driving all the way through Denmark and Germany or going all the way around and driving through Denmark the other way and just doing the roads. So it would have probably ended up costing about the same in fuel anyway. Instead, we get to just chill. Kester gets a rest, we get a rest and we get to see the sights. Quick room tour. Just, uh, first things first. Just in case. 
we got a big cupboard for none of our clothes because we didn't bring any bathroom. Nice big bathroom with a shower. That's the first thing we need. We actually ran out of water. Not only did we break down, we had no water. So we couldn't drink anything. I was drinking milk last night because I was so dehydrated. I was down in a garden of milk. You know what I drank? What? Water from the back of the coffee machine. <laughs> did you actually? It was desperate times. So uh, we haven't washed and we're really dehydrated. So I think we're both going to get showered and sort ourselves out. Oh, look at this VIP treatment. Bag of crisps each. It's my kind of boat, babes. You'd think they'd leave water or something, not bolognese flavoured chips. Should we go to the space disco later? Happy birthday. I've what, already got pyjamas. What does your t-shirt say? My homework. What are you going to do? Homework. Yeah, you're a, an inspiration, babes. The weather forecast for the night crossing was seven to eight. And therefore, I expect a little bit of a bumpy crossing, especially this early afternoon. Time to make Amy some birthday sandwiches. The only problem is we didn't bring a knife, so I'm gonna have to use my fingers. Yes. I did wash my hands. Morning birthday girl. Do a little birthday sorry for you. And get her on your little chin. I'm not sure what to do with that. Check in your gob. Thank you. How are you feeling? I'm alright. I've just got no energy soon, but yeah, I'm ready for this. Alright, whilst Trev's sleeping, she's a bit rough, bless her. Let me give you a quick tour of the ship. Alright, now I'm lost. I think I'm at the wrong end of the ship. Definitely not that one. So uh, we're on the ninth floor and the lifts are no longer working. Uh, wobble down to the sixth, shall we? Quite empty, I think everyone's gone to bed. Well, we've had a burger, so there is a restaurant. Are you enjoying little birthday, Dave? on your boat. I'm trying. Anything you want, let me know. <laughs> Pretty sure of yet. Just found out that the water in the restaurant is four euros. But if you go to the shop, the water's two euros fifty. Criminal, that is. I also asked. Oh, and me. I also asked the lady, would you drink the tap water? She said, I would not recommend it. Coffee shop. So we'll get one of those in the morning. This is the sun deck. So I guess when the sun's out, there's a little bar out here. You can have a beer with a view. I actually love boats. I'd love to go on a long boat journey one day. Not too shabby, lads. Here's the reception. There's a perfume shop, clothes shop. And there's a bottle shop here and an actual supermarket. Every country I go to, I try and buy my mum a bottle of gin. So my mum's got the best gin collection from around the world. Nightclub and casino, lads. And a live band as well, go on. This one's sick, lads. Amy's listening out, she's gonna have a great birthday. I found a pub and they got live music as well. It's like a massive nightclub in here, it's wicked. They've even got a full arcade so you can play games with your partner. <laughs> and that's how you turn £3.70 into £8.40, lads. I might buy two bottles of water for a great day. So that is our ship. Hope you enjoyed the tour. I should probably get back to Trev because I've been gone for ages. She might think I've gone overboard. Only on the gambling, eh? Double the lads. Double the. Don't gamble. Nothing looks familiar. I'm so lost. I think I've made it back to Norway. Or I'm in a horror movie. So I'm on the wrong floor, I know that. But I don't know how to go up. Coming in, I'm coming. 25 minutes later, and we're home. All right, lads, time for bed. Trev's already out. Catch you bright and early. I stay. You're alive, Trev. Yeah. We are alive because they just did an announcement through that speaker saying you need to leave your room in half an hour because we need to clean them. <laughs> eight o'clock. The sailing smoothed out after. I actually slept quite well, did you? Yeah, it was fine. After I went to sleep, I forgot all about it really. Well then, babes. I'm a land cruiser, happy to disembark. <laughs> also, just letting you know, the rich. What's that? It's my gambling money. You... £8.30, ah. make it rain. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you buy some water? I forgot. We should do that this morning, because... Uh... Just cruising the sea, babe. Look at us go. Who's sailor? Is his name Jerry? Have a captain. Captain Trombone. Baby on the toilet this morning. Mm -hmm. That's a 
just a quick shout out to our pals Tim and Finn who hooked us up with packing cubes for Japan and I've carried on the packing cube tradition now. I'm a packing cube guy. This is the best thing ever. So this is their tripped toilet bag. It fits like a million things in and then you can hang it up in your bathroom. It's like a, a traveling bathroom cabinet. Bloody brilliant. But you know like most men just like wash their face with water. I was that guy for like my whole life. So I discovered you can actually wash it. You put cream on it and stuff. I'll show you what I do. First we cleanse. He's obsessed. I do look pregnant now though. You do, you look below it. Then you dry. Then I use some sort of serum. Moisturizer on. The rest of my body stinks, but my face smells like a fresh meadow. And then what I usually do is I put a bit of uh, SPF on because it's not in my makeup. Factor 50 every day. Slow tan is better than a quick burn. And that's me. No more gambling, it's too early. Unless you win. Warm fluffy jacket on and an air conditioner on. <laughs> oh. It's warm. Home sweet home. Well done babes, 18 hours on a boat baby. Should we get you a little medal? A little sailor medal. My name's Jerry. So we just got pulled by the police and they asked us if we had a stamp from Norway. And we're not sure where we stand with stamps. So Amy's just chatting to the copper now to figure out what we need to do. Oh, he's just got some handcuffs out. I'm joking. She's nodding a lot, so I think we're good. Don't need a stamp out of Norway. It needs to just be out of the Schengen and we'll get that in France whenever we go in the autumn. Guten flipping tag, eh babes? <laughs> Get my, my laugh back now that I'm on steady ground. Do you want to go and kiss the cement outside? I was thinking about hugging it, yeah. All right, lads, that is it for this week's video. We're actually driving to visit some very special friends of ours in the Netherlands. And then we're going to be taking Kester to get some TLC with Gary. We've got a lot of decisions to make. We've got a lot of upgrades and things to think about with Custard. We need to make a plan. We haven't actually decided where we're going to take her yet. Or if we're going to take her. Or if we're going to take her. We might have another plan. Come back next week and we might tell you. Any parting words, Trev? Tell them to rule their own world like you did. Go on. Rule your own world like I did. <laughs> One, two, three, five.